Welcome back, chaps. So I stand to. Let's head through here. I think this takes us all the way west to the fields. Come in, Looks Ranger like it. Citadel. Come in, Scorpion HQ. This is Bergen again. Oh. From High Pool. We are still under attack. These damn records are blowing us to pieces. Send help. Anyone. Hi, Pool. This is Ranger Citadel. Our closest team is already answering a call at Ag Center, but they will try to reach you as soon as they can. You read me? Over. Yeah, yeah, Vargas. We've heard it all before. Hi, Pool always comes last, doesn't it? The Scorpions don't treat us like second-class citizens. The Scorpions don't move! Shit! Hit the deck! Ugh, Jesus. Well, Hi, Pool. Ah, this takes us to the central central part. Okay. Vegetation is pressed up against the windows in this corridor like a curious mob at the zoo. Cracks have appeared at many of the windows from the pressure. Okay, that's just the central part. The airlock, Kathy opened it. Well, I mean, we're back here now anyway, so we may as well try this. And we can see if our doc can help this guy. Only 62%. <laughs> That could quite easily fail. Oh! Vived. Lucky you, Winston. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad you got me out of there, but there was something comforting you having held that tight. <laughs> you say so, you friggin' psycho. I know the codes, Rangers. We'll be inside momentarily. She shouldn't be in front. Dolmar should be in front with his perception. Rangers, I see one of our animal researchers, Julio, near the radio dish. Looks like he's been cornered by his own rabbits. Watch out for those rabbits. They've got big, nasty teeth. <laughs> big, nasty teeth. Nice little Monty Python reference there. And you don't have to worry. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. We know all about the teeth on these friggin' rabbits. We know they are lethal. We shoot them from here. Doesn't look like it. we've got to go around. What's on there? A crate. Oh, bloody hell, I totally failed to spot that. Oh! Some pods, man. And everyone's infected now, it's just wonderful. Just be careful. Where are these rabbits? I want to set up a firing line because we know they're going to charge us really quick. Julio, oh, is that you? Oh, for fuck's sake! These He's pods. He's been cornered by his own rabbits. I think they're going to eat him. Hang in there, Julio. Uh, why don't we try a different approach and just run up and then go for a, a group shoot? Everyone, just shoot at the damn things at once. Well, that's good. At least we, we got a bunch of damage off before the encounter even starts. Are we? And clearly, I, I do need to put some more points into leadership because it's actually happened quite a lot that 
Our people following us are losing control. Lord, these things are terrifying. No, shut the train. Oh! I must put you out of your misery. I was so worried that that would use the AOE attack and hit multiples. You see, I was stupid. I should have actually blown up the pod. That AOE would have done more damage. Nice. Damn it. We are going to be taking damage, fortunately. Forty-three percent. Fuck, these things are hard to hit. Crazy. Yes, nice crit. Oh! At Thirty points of damage in one turn. I don't want to free aim, so I need to move. If I kneel down, that should be more accurate. 71, miss. I spend 2 AP giving myself space. 57. Nice. Woo. Trust needs to be healed, but he can't heal himself. That means before I can heal him, I need Rose to get a point in field medic because she can't actually use uh, these med packs. Okay, so rem yeah, revive someone, heal someone, stops bleeding. Damn it. Oh shit, another pot! Potato fish, destroyer of pods. Julio. While the fear has left his face, Julio is still racked with sadness. Rose, you love my rabbits. How could you let them do that? I'm sorry, Julio. It had to be done. They weren't your rabbits anymore. Bitches, you monsters. You murdered my rabbits. I raised them since they were kids, and <laughs> I wish you'd just let me die. When Matt said the rangers were coming, I never thought you'd make this madness worse. Suppose all I can do is hide now. Where can I go? We've cleared a path. You can escape. How about the kitchen? Okay, I'll hold up there. Have you found Doc Larson yet? Everybody you save is going to probably be wounded, so you're going to need him. Uh, what do you think of Larson? He runs our infirmary, best doctor we've ever had. He really knows his stuff. A lot of people are going to be in trouble if he's hurt. Too hurt to heal up. How did all this start? I was tending the rabbits as usual. That's my job. Feeding them fresh veggies from the garden. And all of a sudden, the plants started blowing up like balloons. The insects too. And after they ate the tainted veggies, my poor rabbits started changing too. Horrible. If somebody's behind us, I hope they die a slow and painful death. I think someone did this on purpose? I don't have any suspects or anything. I hope it wasn't one of us. That would be terrible. But if it was... Maybe I'd pick that weirdo, Sue. I actually suspect Sue. He's a strange one. Strange name. Strange habits. Strange ideas. He's supposed to be a research assistant and help Matt with distribution. But he spends all his time either feeding the pigeons or hiding in his room and reading. I think he's up to something. I hope you're alright, Julio. That must have been heartbreaking for you. <laughs> This is what we came for. Let's get to work. 
So, oh for God's sake, another pod. The vegetation clogs the network of pumps and motors that would normally move the dish into place. We have to find a way to clear the overgrowth before we be able to get this thing to work. Okay, so presumably we have to we have to fix Ag Center uh, before we can actually attach the repeater to that dish. Door, you see many like it. So that door was unlocked, which makes me wonder. She had the bash open option. Wouldn't it be better to actually bash open whatever you can for the extra XP if you get the XP? Wonder how many of these pods have actually hit us. Probably most of them. One, two, three, four, five. Everyone's infected. Okay, well, we're on a timer. We've got to move our asses. 14,300. Oh, that's plenty of time. What's through there? Did we go look through there? Oh, what's in that room? Oh, a pod. Careful. We get through there. It looks like we can't. Maybe through there. Worth a try. If we get past that bit of vegetation there. Or perhaps that's one of the areas we can only get to once we've actually completed the well, mission here. This is it. Hope it was worth all your trouble. Nope. Rose has a very strange cadence with the way she talks. Odd. Eighteen thirty. What is that? The time, I wonder. Or the frequency we're on. I don't know. In any case, the rose needs to be healed. As does Angela. Okay, down into the basement. Central basement. Unless we can get through here. Door, oh, you've seen many like it. Ah, so until we get rid of this stuff, we can't get in there. Just to the right of the green and black monitor, you notice a 5.25 floppy disk jammed into a drive. The label sticks out just enough to read a bit of the scroll text. Emergency override. Go on, Rose. You received five energy cells, presumably from the critical success. Status report. East ventilation shaft status 105 active. Engage all fans to evacuate airborne toxins. 
Waste ventilation shaft status, zero of one active. Engage all fans to evacuate airborne toxins. Oh, that's right. We've got to run around and flick switches to ventilate the areas. And this takes us through to the mushroom caves, I think. East maintenance key card. West maintenance key card. I seem to remember that the best way to do this is to have one person run through then flick the switch. If memory serves, you run through here. That's going to need to be locked though, so, or lockpicked, so the person who has lockpick skill needs to go do it. Dolmar, good luck. Those fumes in the ventilation tunnels look toxic. You're either going to have to run through there fast, or you're going to have to get all the fans running. It might clear it out. Got it. Well, they're all running, so how about that toxin then? What's going on, they are all running. So a flashing red light informs you that this airlock is hard locked. Might have something to do with a busted door in the main shaft. If someone can get that closed, the interior door should open automatically. So busted door in the main shaft. This one. No. Terminal is spewing much of the same garbled text. The mainframe think it's got enough power to open and close the nearest airlock. I don't understand. I Switched all three of these on, so this poison should have dissipated by now. And they are all definitely on. Maybe if we open the airlock on the other side. So who's holding that uh, airlock passcode thing? Uh, west maintenance. Oh, is this west or east? This is east. So need the, who's got the east maintenance card? That would be Joseph Oaks. I think you need to east maintenance card, west maintenance card, east card on that thing. Failure. Okay, what the hell? Why is it not all ventilated? Well, whatever. We'll go the other way and go back there in a little while. Oh, but this is the same issue. I need to close the main door. What on earth do we do that? All airlocks open, available commands, status report dot exit. If I've active engage all fans, uh, so I've got it in okay. But I need two more fans to activate. Where are the other fans though? Maybe the fan commands are in this room. Yeah, everybody get in there. The fumes are. 
unpleasant. The toxic ruminations of those fungal growths must be collecting in the ventilation system. Okay, kill this damn fly before it kills anyone. Getting messed up. Why is this AP cost so high? Oh, that's because of his brittle bones perk. Well, this thing does 11 to 13 damage. Yes, Dolmore's Brittle Bones perk means that he uh, has less combat speed, which means he can't move that fast. Okay, right. So how close can I get to this thing without it exploding? Ooh, it's gonna go! Damn, can't reach any of them. Good shooting. Okay, take cover. Shoot this damn thing. <laughs> Try not aiming next time. Okay, so we got nine. I can move one AP and still shoot twice. Damn. Oh, good damage though. Yes. Shots. Oh God, potato fish. Watch us. She lost control again. I can't believe what has happened to you, dear. I will end your suffering. Well, I suppose what I need to be doing is keeping her within leadership range, as she was outside of leadership range. Oh, 92% miss. Let's try and make more use of cover. I've been doing way too much standing out in the open. Got a right shot. Nice. And I level up on Dolmo. What am I going to keep leveling up? Probably, probably leadership. Oh, I need to level up first. Copy, Echo One. Congratulations, Echo. So that gives reduces the chance of followers to ignore orders by fifteen percent. Increases nearby allies' chance to hit by six. That's really good. I've even got two points left as well. That costs four points. Costs two points. 
think I'm just going to leave blunt weapons at one. I don't think I need any of this stuff. Uh, perception of Dolzman. Let's stick with the learned skills. And smart ass. And I, don't, I don't suppose anyone has any attribute points waiting to be spent. Didn't think so. Good lord, we've taken a lot of damage. Running out of medkits at a worrying rate. Wow, that is a lot of time that this fly bile is still active. I seem to recall buying antivenom though. Antivenom requires a surgeon one. Okay, so we give that to Rose. I get so she can use the antivenom at least. Okay, good job. Don't decide who else would need a med kit right now. Probably Angela Death, but it's got 64 hit points, which is way more than anybody else, which is fine, I suppose. Okay. Loot all the things. Don't get exploded, please. This is where we keep our failed experiments. Some odd stuff in here. Yeah, <laughs> say that again. A small screen flickers with power on this giant machine. Near the top of faded decal reads, Oblique Bio Incorporated DNA Sequencer. Insert blood sample to initiate DNA sequencing. Do we have a blood sample? Results confirmed. Subject is human male of American origin. This indicates that higher than average potential intellectual capabilities. Statistical modeling also suggests strong interest in jazz piano. <laughs> The red herb appears delicate, like it might fall apart if you picked it wrong. But if you pick it right, it might be full of healthful vitamins and minerals. Ooh, removal disease effects, nice. Give that to our surgeon, Rose. What else can we loot in here? Green herb appears delicate. Okay, so this is a green herb. The other one is a red herb. What is this one going to do? And there's another researcher stuck there. Okay, so field medic one heals points of constitution. Nice. Basically a small med kit. So now if I blow that pot up, we'll lose whatever's in that container. I think I'll maybe just run to the container and, and take the damage. Rose has lost red herbs. Why? What did she do? Oh, uh, because we gave it to wet traps. Duh. Right, so... Oh, you combined a green herb and a red herb to create mixed herbs. Okay. Wow, heals 75 to 86 points of constitution. Incredible. Got to get rid of these vines. Okay. How do we do that? Shouldn't we be able to surgeon them? Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, surgeon. 
Uh, Angela, you're gonna run in there, grab everything, and run out. Never mind. God, everything just keeps going wrong. And so the other thing I was thinking about was with the fan controls. Science is creepy. Be in here, but they are not. Let's see, so warning, breach in main tunnel. File safe airlocks engaged. Close the main tunnel hatch to disengage as you approach. Main tunnel hatch, how do we close that? Is that uh, to the central complex? Or it just means we need to go here into the mushroom cave first. Well, we found the mushroom cave. That's where Dr. Larson did all his fungal research. I'm seeing a lot of movement. Never liked there, mushrooms. None of it looks making them bigger hasn't helped. I'm just out of ideas, frankly. So I'm gonna come in here and do whatever I can in these here mushroom caves. Oh, fly. We run through here, I should be able to get a drop on that thing. Everyone, shoot. Okay, Angela. Kneel and shoot that damn thing twice. Go on. Nice. Oh, thank goodness that missed. Lost control again. What has happened to you, dear? I will end your suffering. Oh, unlucky. Good, good shot. careful and make sure I don't make these guys explode before I can move her away. Why can't she crouch? Oh, it's because she's in cover. Right. Got. I'm just softening him up. Okay, a couple more hits. No! Oh, I was trying to click on it to see how many hit points it had. Damn, so that's extra damage on Rose now that I didn't want to happen. Oh. Nice, bit of friendly fire. Yes, stand next to the pod. Okay, so she needs to move back and then shoot. Ow! Oh. 
But now I've got to move all three of these guys back. So a friendly fire could kick off here any second. This is really hard. Owie. Good shooting, my dress. The 15 hit points. Because I need Rose to do the finishing off of this thing. And she can attack before then. But I don't see how I can... Hmm, how she can kill them. Her gun does 5 to 13. That one's got 10. That one's got 9. Yeah, she's going to take this damage, unfortunately. Okay, maybe she can move back and just kill that one. Now, will I have sight of that fly from here? Ugh, I don't. Ew. No, she's out of control. My friend, my animals, all gone. Your current state not life at all. Damn it, Rose. You gotta follow orders. Let's see if I can't make this thing come towards us. Okay, oh, it's flanking us, damn. Nice, good shooting. I am gonna finish it off. A lot of XP, wow, that was a heck of a fight. Nice, got a perk point. Okay, so she doesn't need to go into computer science anymore. No, she does. Eventually she'll be higher than the four points that Rose has. But then the question becomes, is it not worth maybe just getting herself like up to five on a weapon of some sort? Because she's not great with any weapons. Why don't we get Toaster Repair and just grab Junk Diver for the chance? Yes, because the Junk Diver lets you have a chance of finding extra junk. 50% chance of finding another junk item. But hopefully that will increase our financial situation or improve our financial situation. We can pick up a perk point here as well. I can pick up Watchman. I don't know what that is. I think I need more. I want Perception. Watchman. What's Watchman? Uh, let's see. I want to take snapshots at enemies with ease. Other rangers in your squad can feel safe knowing you're watching out for them. No chance to hit penalty when using ambush. Hmm. That is good. It's certainly better than... Oh, I've already got it. Okay, so... Their healthy constitution, base armor. Crouching and standing up costs minus one AP is pretty damn good as well. Helps you to reposition. But I like the no chance to hit penalty. Just with Dolmar, he's very slow, so making him crouch and get up uses a lot of AP, so I need to be mindful of that. 
God, we've only got three med packs left. We might have to head back up to the entrance and buy more med kits. Whoopsie, careful, pod. And honestly, I was expecting to have scrounged an SMG from someone's corpse already, but still no SMGs for potato fish to use. May well have to end up buying one. These things are disgusting. Ooh, that was close. Was this episode been 41 minutes wrap this up in a few minutes oh hello whoa what did i do there oh i saw other damage numbers there it looked like i hit something else What the hell? Oh, the storage room. Mushroom storage room. Go uh, no, away, Ryan. Sergio. Dr. Herbison, that is. Looks like he didn't Ooh. reach his weapon in time. Herbicide. Energy weapon. Energy cells. 9 to 16. It's a little frustrating that this is the third energy weapon we've found. And yet, none of the enemies we faced are actually uh, conductive. So, for non-conductive enemies, this would do only forty percent of that damage. That's not great. The laser pistol is half, so it effectively does uh, what four and a half if it rounds up better than her, her pistol so if she actually gets into combat we'll, we'll use the laser pistol go away sergio go away sergio oh, that's skinner all right we heard about him ammunition go away sergio you ain't sergio no more Please, don't make me shoot you. Yeah. Don't make me do to you what I had to... to... <laughs> we're not Sergio, we're Rangers. Rangers? You bastards, what took you so long? Hang on, I'll unbar the door. The smells... This man smells of booze and sadness. Okay. okay, you're still people. So what are you doing here? You come to save the day? Well, you're too late. Oh, hi, Dr. Rose. Didn't see you there. Hello, Mr. Skinner. So, you can escape, but... I... hang on. Why did you say we're too late? Maybe if you would have come earlier, I wouldn't have had to kill my wife! What the hell took you so long? Yeah. So, I hear you know the merchant who saw Ace die. Who? Oh! You mean Sammy Haas? The snake squeezins man? Yeah, he was there when Ace was attacked. Don't know how much you'll get out of him, though. He was so scared when he told me, I could hardly understand what he was saying. Did he tell you anything about the attack? I couldn't get much sense out of him about that. All I know is that someone or something attacked him, and Ace fought it and died. You want more details? You'll have to get them from Sammy, if you can. 
Uh, where can we find Sammy? If you're lucky, he'll be in Real Nomad. That's where he stocks up on snake squeezes before he makes his rounds. Okay. The Sergio, who's his that? Son. He was with his father oh. in the fields when everything went insane. I guess he must have caught the sickness somehow. Because when he came home with Marta, he... He attacked me, just like she did. So glad the blast that, that killed Marta scared him off. I couldn't bear to kill my wife and my son in the same day. Jeez, hectic. Okay, we get a pass to the lobby. You can escape. Thanks, but I don't know if I'm ready to go. Don't want to see any ghosts. What do you mean by ghosts? What else would you call dead people you knew and loved who are still <laughs> up and walking around? I killed one already. I don't want to kill no more. So you killed the woman out there? My, my wife, Marta. She and my son, Sergio. Okay, yeah, we heard that. They found me all right, but it wasn't them no more. So what are the mushroom caves? That's where we experiment with new breeds of mushrooms and other fungi. Not the cheeriest job in the world, being underground all day, but I like it. Cool and quiet down there. At least it was, mm. until the madness started. When did it start? I started seeing it in the mushroom caves about an hour ago. The mushrooms growing out of control, the other guys getting sick, acting funny. Then the alarm started going off. I tried to head upstairs to find Marta and Sergio, but Doug from engineering and a few of the others chased me in here and tried to tear my face off. And then, then Marta and Sergio showed up. If I found out somebody sabotaged us, I'd, I'd kill them. What kind of sabotage? Some of the fellas thought somebody might put something in the nutrient mix. They headed off for the irrigation shutoff valve with Doc Larson to turn it off. Don't think they made it though. I could still hear the pumps. Okay, so what do you know about the pumps? They push water and fertilizer out to all the fields and greenhouses. Sort of the beating heart of Ag Center. Okay. So... You think somebody might have done this on purpose? Can't say for sure, but I have my suspicions. That Sue fella, for one. Yeah, Always yeah. Trying to breed weird hey, they, Rangers, they... if you're going to be heading out, would you mind me coming with you? Talking to you has made me ashamed to be hiding when there's work to be done. I know I might meet my son out there, but that shouldn't stop me from trying to get moving and see what I can do to help upstairs. Can I follow you? Just till we get out from the caves? Yeah, sure. Thank you. I feel better already. Okay, let's go. Interesting that he doesn't appear here in the bar. So I think these six people, like the four person squad and the two followers, is the most you can actually see. I want to be absolutely sure that I'll check everything. What is this? It's a fungicide. Where's starting? Sweet. History of the Egg Center, part two. Logbook updated. So what does that mean for us now? Hmm. But now what do we do with that herbicide? That quest item we picked up. I can only imagine that we would actually spray it. This fungicide. But can you... No. It'll probably just happen then once you get to the right place. Copy Echo One. Echo One. Congratulations Echo Nice, third point. I want to see what that is. Demolition long arm. Uh, that's extra, uh, extra range when throwing explosives. Now, so far, it's just a handgun user, but I'm wondering if he might be the guy for heavy weapons. I uh, hmm. I don't know. I think it's probably too early to think about going into a second specialization for combat. Just get our knowledge skills up. Do 
two skill points. Okay, so it looks like the first three points in everything only takes two skill points. So I should probably give everyone, I'll get everyone up to level three in all their various uh, skills. Okay, so wait a second. I must look at I look at zeroed and long arm. Long arm is maximum range and throwing grenades. Eh. Zeroed. Two percent stacking critical chance bonus when repeatedly attacking a target with handguns. Uh, is that good? Or, well, what's the base crit chance? Twenty-seven. I think that is good. You know. Hmm. Oh, but remember, he's an opportunist, so I mustn't forget that he gets extra damage finishing units, uh, finishing enemies off. 10% chance of finding bonus ammo and looting. I suppose I should just pick this up on someone. I'm hoping that across the course of the campaign, the bonus ammo will uh, eventually be worth it. Okay, so what do we got here? Okay, so careful examining the door, Dolmar finds a lock. Oh, something in there is trapped or something. Fuck sakes, oh so trap was right there and that was the sound we heard of perception. I just didn't actually actually see it. Electronic lock. We've got to be more careful. No more finds a lock. No explosive. Oh wait, is there an explosive? No, there's not. Come on, Delmar. Nice, another old Navy revolver. Woo! Underbarrel flashlight, plus 4% chance to hit. Another M2. And another shiny Ranger star. Now, of the weapons, these the old Navy revolvers can take that underbarrel. Yeah. So we shall apply that upgrade. I also wonder whether I shouldn't put as much as I can, uh, skill points that is, into Angela's weaponsmithing and get the most out of her weaponsmithing while I can. You know, for being able to remove. It's only a 25% chance. But I believe that has to do with uh, her, her weaponsmithing skill, which is just two. No one else has a weaponsmithing. Okay, well, when she levels up, just two points will get her to level three for weaponsmithing. Okay team, let's take a little break there. When we come back, we'll head back out into these mushroom caves and explore the rest of them, see what we can find. See what we can do. We've got Skinner following us. And 12,000 seconds remaining to get ourselves cured. Should be fine. What's worrying though is I've got no way of healing Wetress. That is until Rose levels up. So when she levels up, she has to take at least one point in field medic. And then I'll... Hmm. I don't know if I need to go higher in soldier and uh, surgeon points. I think I want her handguns to improve. 
Which reminds me, she should be using that other old navy revolver. Because it's way better than her gun. He needs 38 ammo for that. Okay team, I'm W149, this is Wasteland 2. We're in the mushroom caves. Creepy shit. <laughs>